archaeology is indispensable for understanding early Chinese writing. All the oracle bone inscriptions that we discuss in this series are based on the solid physical evidence that archaeologists have uncovered. What is less solid, however, is the interpretations of these symbols. For the character 9, we know that it began as this symbol. Some think that it is depicting a hook. Because hook sounded similar to 9 in ancient Chinese, the symbol gradually came to mean 9 instead. Others, however, think that the symbol is a bent arm and that it meant elbow. It then came to symbolize a fist bumping up against something. Since 10 is the final number when counting with our fingers, the symbol came to mean 9, which metaphorically bumps up to 10. Regardless of which explanation you prefer, it is this character that evolved in shape to become 9 in modern Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. For pronunciation, the Middle Chinese ancestor of most modern pronunciations was Kyo. This becomes Jiu in Chinese, Ku and Kyu in Japanese, and Ku in Korean. The Japanese also have their own reading of Kokono, and the Koreans have Aho. The number 8 is the luckiest number in East Asian culture. The word for 8 in Chinese is Ba, which sounds like the word for prosper. Fa, the shape of the character also suggests growing prosperity since it gradually broadens. This love of 8 is so great that the Beijing Olympics was scheduled to begin precisely on 8th August 2008 at 8.08pm. Over 9,000 Chinese couples also chose to get married on 080808. What those couples didn't know is that the character for 8 also used to mean to divide or separate. In fact, the symbol is a depiction of two objects facing away from one another. This is why the modern character for divide simply adds the character for knife underneath. So maybe it's not the best symbol of a lasting marriage. The character mostly means eight, but it sometimes has the sense of all around, all sides. For pronunciation, the Middle Chinese ancestor of most modern pronunciations was bet. This becomes ba in Chinese, hachi in Japanese, and pal in Korean. The Japanese also have their own reading of ya, ya, yo, and the Koreans have yodol. We discussed in video 8 how the character for 8 used to mean divide, and how that meaning was separated off by adding the character for knife. Interestingly, the same is also true for 7. Beginning as a horizontal line split by a vertical line, the character originally meant to cut. The symbol got taken over to mean 7, and the new symbol was created for cut by adding the character for knife. Sadly, the confusion did not stop there. You might remember that the character for 10 began as a vertical line. It gained a dot in the middle, which lengthened to become a horizontal stroke. Comparing 7 and 10, we see that they are still recognizably distinct in their early stages. The problem comes when 10's middle dot lengthens to form a cross. Since 7 is also a cross, it would be very easy to get confused between them. 7 therefore distinguished itself by developing a curve, which simplified to become a modern character. For pronunciation, the Middle Chinese ancestor of most modern pronunciation was jet. This becomes chi in Chinese, shich in Japanese, and chil in Korean. The Japanese also have their own readings of nana and nano, and the Koreans have irko.